everyone, today we're going to be installing the new ID Cooling Frozen A620 Pro SE CPU Cooler Dual Tower inside of my Lenovo Idea Center 5i gaming desktop. And if you guys don't know, I did make a video about this, like a review and like a gaming test, which I will all link down in the description box below, or you can check out right up here. So without wasting time, let's uh, go into the unboxing of this and then install it in my PC. Let's go. Alright, so now we have unboxed everything over here. Now let's move on to the PC and let's open it up. So this is what it looks like from the inside. And we have our 3060 right over here as well as the i7-12700. And I've also installed 64 gigs of DDR4 RAM as you can see by Crucial. So now we're going to remove this stock fan and we're gonna add this one right here. So let's go. So now upon taking out the CPU cooler, you can see there are the four screws right over here. Now, since this is a pre-built this plate right over here, this is already installed on the back. So I don't need to take out the whole motherboard, but when you are building like a new PC, then you need this. Now take the four screws that came in here it looks like this is like double-sided screw make sure the silver part is on the top and then just screw it in just like this just 
just like that nice and tight alright so now all four of the screws are installed now we need to take the two plates now since this is an Intel build we need to take with these ones these are like kind of long and now it is up to you on where you want to put it like you can put it like this or you can put it like this but since I want the fans, I want the fans to come and I blow it out in this way, so I'm gonna put it like this way, just like this. So just slot it in, just like this. And then the second one right down here, just like this. I have to take these four screws now and then just put them in. You don't need to do that much tight. And that's basically it. All four of them are nicely tight. And then now what you want to do is take your CPU cooler. Make sure to remove the sticker on the bottom. That is the most important step here. And then now just place it in. And I'll make sure you apply the thermal paste. That is the most important step as many PC builders actually miss on that. And I usually do like an X pattern. So just like this. This is a very bad X I made because it's like the first time I actually did it, but here it is. <laughs> and then once that is done, then you just need to place it on top. Just like this. Make sure it's in the center and then just screw it in. So now it's nice and tight, nice and sturdy. And then now you just want to take the fans. Here's one of them. And then now you just want to place it right over here just and you want to install the brackets. So take the bracket, make sure this side is like this and then just place it in like this in the hole on both top and bottom. Just like this over here. One, two, and make sure it's like this, and then this side, just like this, just slot it in the hole, so it looks like this, and then one on this side, so it looks like this, and then now we will just clip it on. So leave the wire outside because we need to use the two in one splitter, but just like, just keep the wire inside, and then just place it down. Just like this. Fully down. And then now just take the clip and then just slot it in just like this. Perfect. So there's one fan done. Make sure it's like nicely centered. Just like this. Mark this in just like this, nice and tight. So now our AIO is complete. As you can see and honestly I did make a mistake that it is sitting a little bit like above so the lid won't close so the lid won't close no one you can't it right here so there you have it now it is all settled now what we need to do is take the two-in-one splitter just like the fan at all and no wires are touching it so now let's just finally plug it in now that our CP cooler has been installed as you can see it looks pretty nice and you can see, I think it will cool much better because it is a dual tower, dual fan instead of one stock cooler. So it's gonna be really nice. So right over here, we have MSI Afterburner loaded up. And you can see, this is the idle temperature of the CPU, which is 53 degrees Celsius. And now let's render something on Cinebench and let's do a CPU stress test, just like this. 
and we will do multi-core we will start and it has started and as you can see the CPU has already hit 84 degrees Celsius 85 now and it will gradually increase to like about 95 and 100 which is pretty dangerous situation for the CPU and it is a lot high temperature so now let's compare with the ID cooling a620 pro se so as you can see I plugged in and I have opened up MSI afterburner and right over here, the first thing we see is that the CPU temperature is already at 24 degrees Celsius, which is like 30 degrees uh, less than the stock cooler. That is pretty impressive. And this is only on idle. Now let's do like a benchmark test right over here. Okay, and then let's go into Cinebench, start it again. And then here we look over here. You can see it went up to 140 watts power and the temperature is only about 60 degrees Celsius which is like what 30 degrees 40 degrees less than what it was before so this cooler is pretty nice and I really recommend it and if you guys want the product link for this oh down in the description box below so please check that out be sure to hit the notification bell also give this video a like and I'll subscribe down below see you guys later